Did you know that email marketing is supposed to be 40 to 50% of your total revenue? And that doesn't just happen automatically or overnight. E-commerce businesses need to be locked in to the flows that they need to have going on, campaigns, SMS, all of that. And the software that you should be using to do this is Klaviyo. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the Klaviyo basics. Hey, I got an e-commerce business. We're trying to crush it. I hear you, Matt. We got to get 40 to 50% of revenue. How do I do it? I don't even know what this software is. Where do I start? Let's go. Okay, here we are in Clavio. Let's take a look around. So we have home, which just shows you basic dashboard information. This is an empty Clavio account for the most part. So you're not going to see any data here. Campaigns. So this is where you create emails, like singular emails to do singular offers. You should be doing one to two of these a week minimum. This is where you do those. Flows. This is where the real stuff is. And you can see that there are drafts built into this account that we did for a client. And there are probably five or six core flows but when you start your business, these are the four you need to make sure you have. Abandoned cart, browse abandonment, customer thank you, and welcome series. What's a flow? A flow is an email sequence. So if we go into the welcome series here, you can see that it's like a tree. These are the first things you need to build out when you get Clavio. These are extremely important. You start with a trigger. Triggers usually are based on a list. So you might have a form. Somebody goes to the site, they fill out a form, they get dumped into this all subscribers piece. And I'll show you how to create a form later on in this video. And then that automatically triggers this email sequence. In this example, there are four different emails. So you go into each of these and you can customize it over here and go to edit and you can edit your template there. And then you put in your wait period here. So you wait one day to send the next email, then you send this email, then you wait one day, then you send the next email. That's an email flow. You wanna make sure to create at least four of these at the beginning. Abandoned cart, I recommend this is three emails. Browse abandonment, this is people that visited a product page but didn't buy. Customer thank you, so this is right after somebody buys, usually you wanna cross sell. And then welcome series, you wanna obviously offer a discount code for people that sign up on the website. Get these four going, and you can integrate SMS directly into these and do your SMS through Clavio. The strategy behind these I'll go into in another video, but for now, you should know that these are the four that you should have, and that's the basics of how flows work. Continuing on here in audience, you're going to see the different people in the audience along with lists. So this is a new fresh account with no marketing gone to it. So there aren't anybody in the subscribers here, but you can see this here. You can create new segments and new lists. Lists are certain groups of people on your email list. Segments are groups of the groups. So for example, people that purchased a product in the last 60 days might be a segment that you would create to market to or maybe they bought a specific product. You would see that inside here and you can easily create new segments dynamically based on certain variables. So if I go to create new segment and I say place order last 30 days, I can do it based on a tag or I can do it based on what they've done. They've opened emails, they've purchased things, they've received SMSs, they've subscribed to lists, they've unsubscribed, they've on Shopify, they have fulfilled an order, ordered a product, placed an order, refunded an order. One of the great reasons to use Clavio is that the integrations are so deep with Shopify and WooCommerce that it makes it seamless to be able to send emails to people on your list based on specific actions that they take on your store. That's why it's the industry standard for e-commerce. Everybody uses Clavio. Everybody should be using Clavio. Down here under content, you'll see templates. This is where you can create email templates. Clavio has a lot of them here that you can work off of. Don't overthink this. I think that most people overthink the design of their emails. I think design is important in some ways, but ultimately the most important thing is, does it make people open the email and then does it make them buy? Those are the most important things. And so don't get too caught up in the aesthetics. So you can go ahead and work from these. I'll show you how to use the drag and drop builder in a second. Here in analytics, you can see your dashboards, you can create new dashboards, there's great analytics in here. I recommend that you always monitor your campaigns and flows, you're going to be able to see if this was a live account, you'd be able to see how much money each of these flows has brought in and the conversion rates of those. And then when you go into one of these email sequences, you can even see once it's live, and it's not live in this case, you can see the open rate, click rate on every email, and you'll even be able to see the revenue generated from each email. So that allows you to be able 
able to optimize and see where there are opportunities to get better. And then down in conversations, this is where you can respond to text messages and stuff that happen through your business. So let's go to sign up forms here because this is extremely important. So if we go to sign up forms, you can see we have a welcome series sign up here. You always want to do this because how else are you going to get these emails? You want to make sure that you offer people something right off the bat when they come to your site. One, to get email, two, to get text messages. So if you go in to create a sign up form, once again, you're going to see all sorts of great templates to work from. I recommend just working from those from the beginning. They convert quite well. This is one that a lot of people use. It's a multi-step email and SMS. So it's going to ask for the email. You're going to put it in and then it's going to ask for the SMS. So let's say that I went to create one and the email subscriber list will say it's all subscribers because that started the welcome series flow. It was the trigger for it. If you remember, we go to create form. And now you see the form here. You can put this in your branding, substitute things out, etc. You're going to see the steps for these things up here. Email opt-in, then SMS opt-in. Then you can add another step if you want, or just go right to success where you can put a coupon code or something like that. So you can customize these at will over here. You can also choose to show this form to different types of people. So if you go to targeting and behavior, you can say, hey, I want to show this form immediately as soon as people get on the site. Or you could say based on rules. Well, only when they're clicking away from the page or only after five seconds or only after they've scrolled 30% down the page. I recommend doing it on a short time delay. And now we'll take a look at the builder. So if we go to create campaign, this is how we create emails that would go out to our list. It's the same thing if you're creating emails for flows, you create them in the same way. So we go to email, you would title it something here like test, and you can create a tag if you would like for organizational purposes. And here you pick the list or the segment that you'd like to send it to. So we'll send it to all subscribers. You can choose to filter out certain people. You can choose to skip recently emailed profiles. I almost always turn this off. You wanna send it to as many people as possible. It'll tell you how many people it's going to send it to. I would always tick this box on include tracking parameters because why wouldn't you not want to track it? UTM parameters automatically being added to the links in the email allow Google Analytics to be able to easily get that data in so you can see where your clicks, traffic, and purchases are coming from. And now you continue to content and you want to put the subject line here. You obviously want to make this grabby. Start here. Preview text. So this is something that you're going to see in the snippet when the email is in the inbox. So this is a very important thing to customize so that you can make sure that people click your email. It doesn't matter what's in your email if they don't open it. So you want to customize that preview text and the sender name and the sender email address. Now we'll go to the drag and drop builder here. And this is where we see this. Now let's just say that we're going to take one of these templates here. We'll pick this one, caring for your plants one, desktop and mobile. Remember, 95% of your email traffic is going to come from mobile. So you really want to think about that. So let's say that we're going to use this desktop template. So we're inside here and we can basically customize anything we want on here. You see each of these are selectable. And if I select this, you're going to see no matter what I select, all the settings for it are going to appear on the left. So if I want to change this image, I click it. Here it is. Replace. And you can upload something here. And if you've uploaded it previously for another email, it's already going to show you're going to have this really big library of media to choose from. And this is where you can change the text, the background color, the border, all of these types of things. You can easily drag and drop things around however you want them to go. You can then also, if you go back to this here, you can add different elements. So say you wanted to add a button down here, shop now, and you send the URL maybe to your catalog page or whatever it might be. You can change the color of your button here. I recommend that it really sticks out. Don't worry about your button colors being branded. What's more important is that people click them. I'm not a huge fan actually of having header bars like this. I think that they're just going to get people to do other sorts of things. <laughs> so I usually delete delete this so that I can get them to take the offer that I want them to take. I don't want them browsing around and clicking other things. I just want them to do the thing that I sent the email about. So that's generally what this is all about. And you can play with these different things, social links, tables, drop shadows, etc. One of the things that you're going to use a lot is dynamic content. So if you put product in here, then you can choose from the catalog feed and it's going to read right from Shopify or right from WooCommerce or right from Magento or whatever it is that you have the integration with. And it's going to pull that right in and be dynamic. It does the same thing with abandoned cart and browse abandonment. It knows what products are left in the cart. It knows what products were browsed and you can dynamically populate that data right Right in here. I would recommend when you do the abandoned cart and the browse abandonment flows that you start from the templates that they give you for those flows because they have the short codes already in there to dynamically port in that data. And it's as simple as that. And once you're done, you just exit. Make sure to look at it on mobile and make sure it looks the way that you want it to look. 
So if you're just starting from scratch, the first things that you're going to want to do are one, I would go in and create your sign up form here. So this sign up form is going to get people on your site. All you're going to need to do once you have the integration in there is hit publish and it will just magically show up on your site. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is create your four core flows, the welcome series, the customer thank you, browse abandonment and abandoned cart. Clavio gives you templates for all of those things. The welcome series, you want people to make a first time purchase, use the discount code that you're going to give them, customer thank you, you're often obviously thanking them, but also cross selling another product. Browse abandonment, you want to get them to come back to that product that they were looking at and pull the trigger. And abandoned cart, you're just trying to get them to clean up that cart. Usually you give them a discount code to finally pull the trigger. We use a little bit of scarcity, your cart is expiring and words like that. And then you want to create a calendar where you can send out one to two offers per week to your list. And those are through campaigns. Try to get those going in advance. And that's really all there is to it when it comes to Clavio basics. We can go into so much more when it comes to analyzing the data and optimizing certain flows, sequences, emails, links to make sure that they're making you as much money as possible. But if you're just starting from scratch, I really hope this helped you understand what you need to be doing in Clavio right from the get go and what you're actually looking at so that it doesn't seem too overwhelming. Okay, a like and a subscribe goes a long way if you got value from this video and I'll see you next time.